Um, so on this one, if you guys, you know, if we're going to look into a simplified process, remember guys, we did a lot of, um, if you guys remember the unit circle, remember we did a lot of like rationalizing the denominator, right? No? Yeah, we did that a lot, like a lot from our triangles and the unit circle, rationalizing the denominator. However, we haven't covered binomial rationalizing the denominator. That's going back to algebra 2. But what we did cover in polynomials was conjugates, right? Irrational and complex conjugates. And if you guys remember, that is how you get rid of the denominator is you multiply by, and when you multiply, we did multiply by, you know, 1 minus square root of 3, by multiplying by its conjugate, you eliminate the radical. So what we're going to want to do is get the radical off the denominator by rationalizing the denominator. But instead of multiplying by the square root of 3, we're going to multiply by the conjugate. And what's nice about this, guys, is if you remember, you just applied the difference of two squares, right? So I'm not going to simplify the numerator because I'm thinking ahead, which I'll explain in just a second. So 1 times 1 is 1. Negative square root of 3 times square root of 3 would be a negative square root of 3 squared, which would be a negative 3. So that gives me negative 2 times 1 plus square root of 3 all over negative 2. 1 plus the square root of 3. Oh, did I like not write down the problem? No. <laughs> I forgot to write down the problem that we're doing. Yeah. Oh, well. OK. Let's do the problem. Does everybody see that? Yeah? So the problem that I actually wanted you to do was cosine squared of theta divided by 1 minus sine of theta. Now, there's really not much we can do here. But again, understanding this idea, if we want to get rid of a fraction, right? We want this to be simplified. Nothing divides out like in the previous problems. But could we multiply by the conjugate of 1 minus sine of theta? Sure, why not? Why don't we just try to do that in the same process, see what that gives us. Just remember, whatever you do in the denominator, you have to do in the numerator. Don't do anything. Don't simplify that yet. Just leave it as it is. We get 1 minus sine squared of theta, right, by applying the difference of two squares. 1 minus 1 and then negative sine of theta times sine of theta. What is 1 minus sine squared of theta? Cosine squared. Cosine squared. And then, guess what divides out? The cosine squareds of theta. So now we're just left with 1 plus sine of theta. Pretty cool, huh? Kind of, maybe. Huh? I didn't put the brown for C either. <laughs>